Hi Leo, welcome to your April 2018 reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. And what we're going to do is look at the present energies that you're facing at the moment. Um, we're going to look at what's challenging you. Um, how that situation is going to develop in the near future. And then we'll also look at kind of some advice and what's going to be the overall outcome for the sign of Leo in the month of April 2018, okay? So the first card is going to represent the present energy. So what's going on presently for Leos? What are Leos currently facing at the moment? The next card is going to represent your challenge. So what is challenging Leo or what will be challenging Leo from now until um, mid-April? Next card is going to represent the recent past. So what was going on in the recent past? What led up to this challenge or present situation that Leo is currently facing. The next card is going to represent the near future. So how will this challenge or situation develop in the near future? So this could be uh, talking about like the first two weeks of April. The next card is going to represent your thoughts. So what is on the mind of Leo? What are Leos thinking about? Either now or they will be thinking about heavily in the month of April. The next card is going to represent your subconscious, so your hopes and fears. What are Leo's secretly hoping or fearing between now and the end of April 2018? Next card is going to represent overall energy. So what's going to be Leo's overall energy in the month of April? What is going to be Leo's overall energy? How will they be feeling overall? How will others see them? What's going to be their overall energy? Next card is going to represent their immediate environment. So what is in the immediate environment for Leos in the month of April? What is affecting them in their immediate environment? Let's see what popped out. You got the Four of Cups in reverse, so we'll see if that wants to come out again in the spread. Next card is going to be the advice. So what's the advice for Leo when it comes to their challenge or what will be challenging them or what is currently challenging them? And then the last card is going to be the overall outcome. So what's going to be the overall outcome to their situation, to their challenge? So what's happening? What's going to be the overall outcome for the month of April 2018 for Leo? All right, let's put them in some piles here. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to lay the cards out first and then I'll go through them with you one by one, okay? Alright, so I feel like Leo's already off the bat. I'm getting some sort of um, being indecisive. I feel like you guys want to expand or do something, um, either travel or you're looking for something better, but you're kind of being a little bit indecisive. You don't know how to move forward, but we'll get into it. I'm sorry about the sniffling. I think I'm getting a cold. Okay. Let's see if I can move these cards so you guys can see them all. Okay. All right, your overall energy is very imbalanced. I see two here being imbalanced, being indecisive. Okay, but I do see some sort of opportunity coming for you um, towards the end of this month of April, but let's get into it um, with more detail. So the overall energy or the what's at the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. So this talks about uh, working with others. This talks about cooperation. This talks about building something, uh, maybe gaining some sort of recognition or wanting to create something. I feel like you want to build something with others or... Um, you may be looking for like an opportunity to shine in your workplace, in school, in something that you're, you're creating. Okay, so we'll get into it deeper. All right, so the first card you have here in the present situation is the Three of Wands. So I feel like you guys are wanting to either travel, you're wanting to explore something, you're ready to expand. I feel like I remember in your uh, last video for March, the title was on to bigger and better things and I feel like that's what Leo's really focused on. They're focused on moving on. I feel like they're trying to leave a lot of things um, from the past 
behind them and they're ready to start a new adventure, a new journey. They're ready to do something different. But I feel like you guys are just very indecisive about how you're going to do it, how you're going to move forward, um, what's going to be the next step for you guys, okay? Because in your challenge position, you have the Two of Pentacles. So that talks about having a hard time keeping things in balance, having a hard time um, pretty much, yeah, like juggling things, keeping things in order. I feel like you have a lot going on um, and you're having a tough time keeping them in order or keeping on top of everything or maybe you're being just very indecisive. You don't know what it is that you want to do next. And we're going to clarify these cards. In your recent past, you have the page of wands so i feel like you could have gotten some sort of bad news in your recent past um this could have been from a fire sign um aries sagittarius or a leo but this could also represent your energy just feeling really um uninspired or um not sure of how to move forward but i feel like presently you are longing to move forward you're you're kind of thinking about what is your next step and how to get there but you definitely want to either expand I feel like a lot of Leos want to move um, a lot of Leos want like a change of scenery or something different okay so we'll clarify this one now in your near future you have the seven of swords so this is you know, usually represent like sneaky energy but I feel like maybe you guys might be keeping your plans to yourself for some reason. I feel like you're trying to do something again in like silence or secrecy. Um, maybe you don't want someone to know that you're leaving or you're planning to move or maybe you want to leave a job situation for something better. But I feel like either way, the way you're going to be going about it in your near future is going to be very like low key. We'll clarify this card. In your thoughts, you have the Four of Swords. So you're really thinking hard. Um, I feel like you're just in the in the thinking process. You don't really, you're not really moving forward with anything, but you're keeping things to yourself. Um, you're very much in your head for some reason, and we'll find out what this is about. In your hopes and fears, you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I think that you're hoping to, again, get out of your head. For some reason, there's something that in your, I feel like your mind um, is keeping you from moving forward. Or maybe um, your thoughts are confusing you or keeping you from moving forward into this new direction that you guys want to take. So we'll clarify this. Overall energy in April is temperance in reverse. So again, disharmony, things not really balancing out remember your challenge was the two of pentacles and you see they have the two twos so you're having a tough time balancing something out or bringing harmony to a situation we're going to find out exactly what that is in your immediate environment you have the ten of wands so i feel like either in your environment you're wanting to drop something or maybe you're having a tough time bringing something to an end um we'll clarify this one but usually in reverse it talks about like dropping burdens releasing um things like i said you have a lot going on so i feel like you're going to be in your environment you're going to kind of drop things that are either a burden to you or um you're going to be trying to kind of release a lot of stress we'll find out exactly what this means your advice is the king of swords in reverse so this could say maybe um the way you're communicating i feel like you're just being very secretive you're not being very some leos possibly are just doing something in secrecy um or wanting to do something but um not really communicating it so this could be calling out uh the fact that you're not really being very vocal about what it is that's bothering you or what your plans are all right the overall outcome is the ace of pentacles so i feel like there is going to be a new opportunity again i feel like you guys are trying to move towards something new all right but you're either keeping it to yourself because you don't want to i don't know maybe you don't want to jinx it maybe you don't want others to know maybe you want to surprise people but i feel like you are 
getting some sort of new opportunity or starting some new beginning. Um, this could be in a job, this could be money-wise, this could be a new house, new something, but it's like a new start. Um, again, I feel like some Leos are either moving on to a new job or um, a better opportunity. This could be, I don't see a lot of cup cards here, so I don't think this has to do much with like uh, better relationships or other people, but I feel like you guys are wanting to move on to a different stage in your life and you want to do something new other than what you were doing before. All right, so let's clarify the cards with my smaller tarot deck. And the first one I want to see is the Three of Wands in your present situation. So why is Leo the Three of Wands in their present situation? Now you have the Queen of Swords here. So I feel like you guys are definitely like taking in a lot of like air energy. You're in your thoughts a lot. Um, you're trying to be logical in a situation. I feel like you're seeking something. Either you're, you're wanting to seek some sort of um, answers or clarity or you want to follow your truth. We'll clarify this one. Why is the Three of Swords here with the Queen? I'm sorry, why is the Three of Wands here with the Queen of Swords for Leo in their present situation? Okay, and then you have the Seven of Cups. So again, a lot of confusion. Um, a lot of confusion about how to move forward with something, okay? One more to the Three of Wands energy. This is Three of Wands energy for Leo. And now you have the King of Wands. So this is about pursuing your passion. This is about pursuing something that you're focused on. I feel like you you have this this drive for some reason or this energy to want to pursue something, to do something new, to go on an adventure, travel, move out of state, do something. I feel like you guys want like a new beginning maybe, um, but you're confused about how to do so. Um, you're trying to put a lot of thought into it, but I feel like you don't know how to kind of manifest this new beginning that you want. Like how to, make, like you're, you're thinking about it, you're passionate about it, but how do you like, do, like how do you do it realistically? In your challenge position, you have the Two of Pentacles. So what's this um, challenge that you're having with balance? Let's see, what is this Two of Pentacles energy for Leo in their challenge position? Strength, this is your card, you guys. So usually Leos are very like passionate, determined. They know what they want. They go for it. They don't really hesitate. And I feel like for some reason, when it comes to this new beginning or new opportunity, you're not pursuing it as aggressively as you normally would. I feel like you guys are still going back and forth in your head about it or um, like you guys are hesitant about it for some reason. You don't have the confidence or feel like you don't have the strength or something. You feel like you don't, you're missing something. Um, and it's causing some kind of imbalance for you. Let's get another one. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? With strength in reverse for the challenge for Leo's. Why is Two of Pentacles challenging Leo? Okay, this card wanted to come out before too. The Ten of Pentacles. So possibly, I think for some Leo's, maybe they don't want to leave their family behind. For some Leo's, they have a lot of responsibility when it comes to the home. Um, maybe there are people who depend on them as well and they're feeling um, a little torn about going off and starting their own adventure or starting something new. Um, they feel like they, they have a lot maybe presently, but their, their passion is still drawing them to want to venture out to do something else, do something better, something bigger, something that they're passionate about. And um, they don't feel confident enough maybe to leave behind what it is that they already have. That's for some Leos. Let's see if we can get one more. One more for the Two of Pentacles. Yep, you see, you've got this card again, twice. So just, I feel like you guys wanna get out of your head about the situation, okay? You guys wanna find a clear path or you need answers on how to move forward with what it is that you wanna do. 
In your recent past, you have the Page of Wands in reverse. So what is this Page of Wands in reverse in Leo's recent past? Why is the Page of Wands here? Okay. Five of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you're getting over something in your recent past. Like I said, um, could have been bad news. Um, you could have, um, again, not been feeling very passionate or inspired to really pursue what it is that you wanted in your recent past. But I feel like you're gaining that, again, like you're feeling the strong push to want to do something big or venture out or go out or expand what you're currently doing. All right, so let's get into this near future because I want to see what's the Seven of Swords energy for you guys. Why is the Seven of Swords energy here for Leos in their near future? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo in their near future? You have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this talks about like movement, pursuing. I feel like this is almost like some... I'm trying to like move in silence, I feel like. Again, you guys are trying to move away in secrecy for some reason. What's the Seven of Swords here for Leo in their near future? What is Seven of Swords here for Leo in their near future? Justice. I feel like this is, you feel like this is the right thing to do. I feel like you think the best thing for you to do is just to go and pursue what it is that you want but not really tell people about it or to do it like on the low i don't know <laughs> like you guys just want to keep your plans to yourself keep your thoughts to yourself um you feel like this is going to be the best way to get what it is that you want if you just keep it under wraps um i know a lot of people like that who feel like if they talk about like opportunities that are coming their way they feel like they're gonna jinx it somehow or they don't wanna put it out there. So this could be kind of what you're doing, but I feel like, again, there's this energy of trying to make these moves or do something without anyone knowing because you feel like that's, that's the right way to go about it, okay? In your thoughts, you have the Four of Swords. What is this Four of Swords in the thought of Leo? Why is Leo's thoughts the Four of Swords? What is this energy for Leo? Four of Swords. The Nine of Swords. So I feel like you guys are trying to put your minds at rest. I feel like you've been worried a lot or you were worried a lot in your past and now you're trying to rest your mind. You're trying to get clarity and thought um, because you're, you're on a different path now. You're thinking about um, pursuing different things or going forward um, with something that maybe you were passionate about or you are still passionate about. But I feel like you're trying to put your mind at rest. You don't want to stress too much about what it is that you're doing. That's why I feel like you're kind of moving in silence because you don't really want other people's opinion um, to kind of cloud your judgment. All right, let's see. Let's get into your overall energy, which is temperance in reverse. So why is Leo temperance in reverse in their overall energy? That pops really quickly the page of pentacles so this has to do with like a new start again this pentacle thing um maybe you're getting some kind of news about an opportunity and it's causing you to be like a little bit imbalanced for some reason you guys could be getting news of an opportunity i do see in your overall outcome some sort of opportunity being presented to you but why is this making you emotionally imbalanced let's see why is temperance in reverse for the overall energy for leo this temperance in reverse that card almost wanted to come out but did it one card please to pop out a lot of cards flipping one card played why is temperance in reverse here for leo is their overall energy why is this news or opportunity making their energy the temperance in reverse well, cards don't want to say the cards are not telling me <laughs> let's try again why is temperance in reverse here for leo what is this news there we go yeah empress you're getting news about some sort of new opportunity a new beginning something is coming um to fruition for you or something is is being born this is an opportunity um to really manifest what it is that you want in the physical world but i wonder why you guys are 
torn about it. It's like, I feel like this is good news. This is an opportunity to do something that you want to do, but you're torn for some reason. And again, I feel like maybe you're torn about leaving family behind. You're torn about um, leaving your comfort zone for some reason. Um, but I feel like this could be some good opportunity for you. In your immediate environment, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is this Ten of Wands here in reverse for Leo's immediate environment? What is this energy? Ten of Wands in reverse for Leo's immediate environment. Nine of Wands. Okay, so this talks about wanting to be happy again. I feel like you're going to be trying to drop a lot of burdens. Um, you want to be comfortable in your surroundings. I feel like you guys want that independence again and you feel like maybe you want to drop all the burdens like I said you're putting your mind at rest one more for your immediate environment for Leo ten of wands with the nine of pentacles what is this energy for Leo in their immediate environment what is this energy for Leo in their immediate the way that fell I just uh, want the card to pop. So what is this? There we go. This wanted to come out again. So the full in reverse. This could have to do with again with like taking risk or this new beginning. Um, so I feel like in your immediate environment, you guys are gonna. Sorry, you guys are gonna want to let go. I feel like of things that are holding you back. Things that. Um, have been a burden to you. I feel like you guys really want to be independent. You want to make this choice um, on your own. You don't really want a lot of people to influence your decision. Now, your advice is the King of Swords in reverse. So let's see why you're the King of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry, not why you are. Why is the advice for Leo the King of Swords in reverse? What is this energy for Leo with King of Swords in reverse? What fell? Something fell, right? Oh, right? No, I don't see anything. <laughs> I guess I'll see it on the camera. No, nothing fell. One card. There we go. Oop. So you have the Six of Wands here, which talks about victory moving forward. Um, I think maybe you guys are right. I think your advice may be telling you not to really keep your thoughts and um, communication about your plans to yourself that's going to be the best way to get to victory um, I feel like you guys feel the same way for some reason that you want to keep your ideas or your thoughts to yourself um, so I think that that's what that's saying your advice is to kind of not communicate or tell, tell too many people or talk too much about what it is that you're wanting to do or this opportunity that you're getting in April Let's see if we can get one more for the advice. Why is the King of Swords the advice here? Oops. Yeah, I'll we'll take it. So you got the Two of, of Wands here again. So this has to do with the decision that you're making to move forward, to do something, okay? And then you've got the King of Cups here. So I feel like this is something that, again, you're very passionate about. Um, something that makes you emotionally happy. This is something that you want to do for yourself. So the advice could be saying... Yeah, maybe it is best that you keep your plans to yourself. Maybe there's people around you who, um, not that they're negative, but I feel like they have a powerful influence on your decision making. And I feel like you don't want anything to influence this decision that you're going to make when it comes to this new opportunity. And then let's see what this opportunity is. Okay, what's this Ace of Pentacles in the overall energy? So what's the Ace of Pentacles here for Leo? And the overall outcome, not overall energy, overall outcome to their situation. What's this Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles for Leo in their overall outcome? A lot of cards flipping. Let's get one to pop. Leo, you guys are so secretive about this. The cards don't, <laughs> the cards don't even want to tell me. It's taking a long time. What's this Ace of Pentacles? That's the Ace of Pentacles. There we go. Let's see? Again. What is this sneaky opportunity? You see, this card came out twice now. 
whatever this opportunity is, either you didn't see it coming or it's like very under wraps. Like this is something, this is like a secret opportunity to do something. It's a secret. <laughs> what I keep getting it's a secret like what's the secret ace of pentacles I want to know what's this ace of pentacles no wonder the cards weren't popping it's like nope it's a secret <laughs> like it's a surprise you guys are surprising Leos this, this month or next month what's this ace of pentacles what is this ace of pentacles and the overall outcome yeah the cards are not okay there we go all right, remember this came out when we were shuffling the deck and I said if it wanted to come out again, it would, and it's back. So I feel like this opportunity is something that's gonna get you out of your funk. I feel like you guys were, you definitely went through something in your recent past, especially in March. I remember doing that reading for you guys where um, you were just leaving shit behind and you were on to bigger and better things. And now I see that manifesting and translating here in April where, um, now you are on a mission to pursue something and something is coming your way but for some reason it's like secretive or you don't want a lot of people to know or there's something hidden about this opportunity um that's why i feel like you're torn and you're going back and forth about do you want to pursue it do you do you not want to pursue it um but i feel like this is the opportunity you need to get you out of that funk that you've been in or were in recently in your recent past all right all right, so let's do some love advice now. With the, I always hold these cards backwards. With the, the romance angels, my ring light. All right, let's do some love advice for Leo. I always um, shuffle these cards before I get on camera, but I'll do one little mini shuffle on camera for you guys, okay? So the first two cards is gonna be advice for love. So what's some advice for love in the month of April when it comes to Leo? What's some love advice? What advice? Do you have there goes one? Okay. One more. One more for Leo. Love advice. Let's get one more. Alright. So the first one you have is finance and careers. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You see? So again, maybe some of you guys or in a relationship or something or you're talking to someone and you're getting like this opportunity to do something and you're torn maybe you have to move away maybe this is something at a distance um but i feel like finances for some reason are a factor in your love life maybe because you're more focused on your money or you're so focused on your goals and um what drives you that it's kind of affecting your love life for some for some reason the next card you have here is passion. So it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So you have a lot of passion here. So I feel like definitely April is going to be a month about pursuing your passions. Leos are going to be very focused on that. Um, they're also very focused on their money. So I feel like that could be a reason why um, it's affecting your love life. Maybe you guys are so focused on your money and what you're passionate about and this could be money that um it's kind of affecting your love life because you're not really pursuing um either love or your career or your passions are getting in the way of your love life okay and the last thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna get messages from the universe and i'm gonna use the cosmic tarot and i'm gonna ask the universe pretty much what do they want leos to know in the next four to six weeks what are the major things or messages or advice or major energies that's coming towards leo in the month of april all right so what messages does universe have for leo in the month of april 2018 what messages does universe have for leo all right <laughs> So you guys got the Five of Cups. So again, Five of Cups here. Some of you guys may be feeling a little bit sad or um, you're thinking about maybe what you could lose in a situation, all right? You also have the Four of Swords here twice now. 
So you're really trying to rest. I feel like you guys are in a period of rest and contemplation, really thinking hard about um, what it is you want to do. But I feel like you guys kind of like emotionally, you're a little bit hurt or disappointed, but you don't want to really think about it. You don't want to focus your attention on what you've lost or the past or things that made you feel um, heartbroken or disappointed. Um, you guys want to put that situation to rest, okay? And then you have the Queen of Cups here. So I feel like you guys, again, are going to be very in tune with your emotions. You're going to be um, either very passionate or wanting to, you know, start something new, start over. I feel like you guys want to leave this energy behind and then come out as like a stronger, independent woman, someone who is um, very sure of herself, someone who is emotionally stable as well. So that's why I feel like you guys have this energy of wanting to put these thoughts or thoughts about um, past hurts to rest already. You want to move forward. All right, Leo, so that's going to be your April reading. I hope that you were able to resonate with the messages in this reading. Um, if you guys would like to book a private reading with me, you can email me. My email will be below and we can set that up. Okay, so thank you so much and I hope you have a great April.